Hello. Um, so this screencast is basically just going to be a, a brief introduction on um, how you uh, go about uh, activating uh, any one of the four out of the box um, mannequin or XML UI uh, themes that come bundled with DSpace. Uh, uh, a point to note is that by default, once you build and install DSpace, uh, you implicitly make use of what this space does is by default it actually activates the reference theme and um, this is how it basically looks like and just to show you exactly what I mean uh, uh, I'll just quickly navigate through to my this space instance and just uh, try and confirm that it's indeed the theme that I have uh, activated but besides the uh, reference theme there are three other XML uh, UI themes that you could pretty much easily activate. Um, and the three are the classic Kubrick uh, and Mirage. Um, and this is how they basically uh, look like as a classic thing, which pretty much looks like your average uh, JSP UI. Um, and then there's a Mirage uh, theme that was developed by a company called Admire. Um, and then finally, there's uh, um, there's a Kubrick uh, theme, and so what? What I'm what I'm pretty much going to do is just uh, quickly walk you through the whole process of switching from the default reference theme um, to uh, Kubrick. And so, what you pretty much uh, need to do is the first thing you need to do is you obviously need to uh, uh, you need to. Uh, you need to stop your servlet uh, container, I mean your web container servlet engine. And in my case, uh, it's actually located on the remote server. So I'll just quickly SSH into the server and uh, uh, just uh, um, just uh, quickly stop Tomcat. I'm, I'm using Tomcat as uh, the web container. Uh, just confirm quickly here. Oh, there we go, it stopped. Um, and then from, from there on, um, you basically need to navigate through to uh, the DSpace uh, installation directory. And in my case, I actually installed DSpace in this particular location right here. Um, OK. Um, so once, once, you, once you stop DSpace, what you need to do is you need to make just a couple of uh, changes to a file to this particular file, xmoui.xconfig uh, file. Um, and it's basically located in the uh, config directory uh, of your installation. So there's, there's, a, there's a directory called config inside of your DSpace installation directory. Um, um, and I'll just, uh, sorry. So if you move down to the end of the file, you basically come across uh, the themes tab. And this is pretty much what we're interested in right here. Okay, so the theme, the themes tag is basically composed of uh, a series of uh, theme uh, tags uh, which are basically referred to as uh, uh, rules. Um, and so what, what we pretty much need to do for us to activate a particular theme um, is to define a rule that will basically point to the directory which contains that particular theme. And uh, seeing that we want to basically activate the Kubrick theme, uh, which is not really by default defined uh, uh, between these two tags, what we need to do is just quickly comment out the, the default tag here. And I'll just quickly just uh, define it right there. Okay, just comment it out and just call it uh, cubic theme. Okay. And so the way that you you define uh, your theme rules is you pretty much uh, 
you pretty much just uh, need to ensure that you 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 provide the necessary details that will uh, that will basically uh, specify um, um, the the location of uh, the theme directory. And in my case, if I just quickly log in to the server. Um, You notice that uh, you notice that uh, I have the cubic folder right here, uh, and so what I pretty much need to do is just to specify. This is a mandatory uh, attribute name that you have to uh, uh, configure. And, you know, just uh, this is not this is not necessarily important, uh, but it's required. I mean, just uh, basically describe the sort of uh, theme that you're installing. And then another important uh, attribute that you need to specify is the regex attribute, which pretty much defines exactly how you go about uh, applying this particular theme. Um, what, what, what I'm doing here is just uh, specifying that I want uh, everything within my display instance to actually make use of this Kubrick theme. Um, the beauty with uh, display is you could pretty much uh, define exactly how you would want a particular community uh, or resources to actually look look like by making use of different themes, but um, I mean in this particular case this should be fairly sufficient. And then of course most importantly, uh, I'll fill it with the uh, uh, the name of the uh, the name of the directory that actually uh, that contains the details of the theme itself. And then I'll basically just uh, that file. Then uh, that's basically it. All you need to do now is uh, just restart uh, your servlet engine. In this case, I'm using Tomcat. I'll just uh, start it. And uh, fingers crossed. Okay. So you you notice that uh, once this is started, you should be able to see the cubic beam. Okay, thank you. Uh, I, I hope this uh, screencast uh, was helpful and uh, please comment um, and let me know what you think. Thank you.